Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called EIGRP Fundamentals. During the last video, we looked at the dynamic routing protocol called RIP. Now let's look at a more robust dynamic routing protocol called EIGRP. Like RIP, EIGRP is called dynamic because it can change the path that it sends packets as a result of changing conditions such as broken network links or the additions of new networks. EIGRP learns new paths by sharing what it knows with other routers running the EIGRP protocol. EIGRP is also a good routing protocol for use with any small, medium, or large business. The first command that we're going to look at is the router EIGRP command. This command is entered in the global configuration mode. The number at the end shows the autonomous system and must be the same for all routers that are going to interact with its EIGRP protocol. The network command allows the network administrator to list the networks that the router knows about so that the list could be forwarded to other routers using the EIGRP protocol. EIGRP is a distance vector protocol, so it does not have a complete topology of the network, but it does know which interface it must send out packet to bring it closer to the destination. EIGRP uses four out of five metrics to choose the path. The metrics are minimum bandwidth, delay, load, reliability, and the maximum transmission unit. I have already set up the IP address on all the routers and set up EIGRP on all the routers except for router one. I will set up EIGRP on router 1. In this example, when computer A pings computer B, the routers will choose path B because it is the quickest path from the source to the destination. Path A is actually the most direct path, but the interface connection that links the routers from path B are 10 times faster than path A. EIGRP does not take into account how many routers it must go through. Mainly, it cares about how quickly and reliably it could send the information. In this video, we looked at the dynamic routing protocol called EIGRP and demonstrated how it could be used as a reliable dynamic protocol. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.